My name is Eric Smith. Eric Smith is a composer uh, from South Africa, moved here. And one day we were just talking about the project about Cowichan. I said, uh, I, have, um, I have this project, uh, a tourism project, and I would love to do some uh, music with it. And I said, um, I have an idea actually to bring your piano to uh, your grand piano um, to the dock and play there. And Eric says, oh, I love the idea. I said, yeah, and then maybe a an, an, an guitar, you know, with it. And then um, what kind of music we should we visit? Two weeks later, I get a call on a Sunday night. I never forget it. And I went over to Eric's place and Eric says, um, come and uh, come and see me. I, I got something. Uh, I don't know if you know about um, the, the last movement in Beethoven's symphony, uh, the Ninth Symphony, that's Ode to Joy, that's vocal. Yep. Okay, it's German words, yep. but it's such a strong melody and it's a universal melody. Um, and can, um, we get, can we get in there uh, a little jazzy, little, you know, with the moods that I want to create with the visuals? Well, right? that's, that's, the, that's the beauty of this piece. The, the melody is so simple. I was just thrilled that I had the opportunity to to write some music for an orchestra and for varying instruments and variations in the theme. And uh, uh, I got quite excited to do it. And uh, that's why uh, the score, I think I sort of penciled it out within a couple of days. Yes, I thought we'd start off sort of like a, a gentle, uh, just a tinkling piano for the dawn scene. That goes on for a while and then into the melody. The interesting thing about this score is that instead of writing a bit of music and getting people to play the music, as you know, we listed the musicians who were available. So it's almost tailor-made. We tailor-made a piece of music for the musicians who live in this area. Um, for instance, uh, I've, I wrote a little piece for French horns, and that's because we have a French horn guy who lives just down the road from, from Cowichan. I'm wondering if you should attack a new A on there. Well, just, that's what yeah, I'm going to yeah. do right there. Yeah, because yeah, um, you can't yes. really glist to it. That's this. Yeah. The choir from Glenora, the bell choir, um, that was something that developed halfway between, and that's, uh, I was told about them. I went out to listen to them and immediately I adapted the score to accommodate them in the score. So the, the thing grew around the people in this community and they were all so excited to be involved in this and that's the, that was very rewarding. This bar is important every, every year. You know, it's, it sounds quite easy, you know, there's the restaurant and there's the dock, let's wheel, wheel the piano. But of course a grand piano needs to be taken apart. And once it's taken apart and everything, the tuning goes. So we had to get an expert uh, piano mover, took, took the piano apart. And of course he had reassembled it all again at the, at the dock. Uh, and then once it was back in the restaurant, uh, we had to bring in the piano tuner to retune everything. In case of the choir, of course, uh, we were looking for a nice large room uh, that would be acoustically flattering for the choir, um, and Brentwood College um, turned out really well for that. I would think, I would think as live as you can make this room yeah. would be nice. Sure. Yeah, okay. you bet. Let's yawn. Ooh. That's it. Stretch it out. Relax. Shake those hands. ambitious project. Um, it, just the sheer scope of the number of musicians involved um, for a short piece of music is, is quite something. Um, 
the their stylistic changes happening, uh, you know, every 20 or 30 seconds, and um, the composition is is is, is quite amazing in that they, it flows uh, so naturally between the different styles. Um, it's very ambitious in the sense, uh, both from a technical standpoint and from a musical standpoint. Um, and I think uh, everybody involved has done just an amazing job. It exceeded my expectations well, for a bit sure. Mucky and on right. the chord, so what right. I can actually adjust, I can, this is a neat thing about these software amps, is I can automate right. the gain on it, so the distortion cleans up slightly for the chord at the end. Next we went on the road to film at a great variety of locations. Providence Farm on top of a mountain, and we even took a jazz band on one of the fishing boats. Not everything works out the way you like it. We made a transition coming out of a creek, finding out that a large water pipe was right behind a musician. I'm just thrilled the, the way it, it, uh, it got together. Uh, it took some time, yes, and coordinating everybody because everybody, of course, have got other commitments and getting them to the studio and to the location on the day that we wanted them. But uh, it was well worth it. For me, this was a fantastic project. Um, it was not only very rewarding to see a whole community coming together, a community of musicians coming together and do all these things. Also, the time that we spent on it to do this, we had um, a lot of fun ourselves with it too. You can imagine, uh, you know, getting a jazz band on a fishing boat at 6.30 in the morning and play and, and leave the harbor. Uh, bring the piano out, you know, it, it's a fantastic project and from the bottom of my heart I like to thank all the people that were part of this project. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, you have done Couch and Proud. Yeah, John. Bye, Eric. Bye.